G'day mate and welcome back to Factorio with me, Jedi. So this episode, this episode's gonna be a little bit of a rush. We need to get like everything up and running. Um, we need to get red circuits up and running, which means we need to get coal up and running. To, sorry. We need to get plastic up and running. Five. Yep. I need to get plastic up and running and delivered over. Really? I've got one. Oh. Also need some radars, it turns out. Uh, I need to get coal up and running to deliver to plastic. Uh, we need to get the chemical plants up and running to actually make. Uh, throw all those guys in there. Cool. You guys are going to off and chop down everything. You guys are a little bit loud. Do you know that? Uh, copy those... Let me through, please. So, we need to get plastic up and running. Then we need to get red circuits up and running. Which is also going to mean we need to give uh, blue circuits one hell of a booster shot. Uh, can we run that that way? And then run that that way. And then hopefully get all this belt. All these trees out of the way. Yeah, of course, the bots have run off to the complete opposite direction. You, know, you could have started where we were and worked your way there. Bots. Yeah, come out here and get, like, entangled in trees and stuff, which is going to screw with your pathfinding, rather than work your way there and make yourself a nice little hole to... Okay. That can go. That can go. That can ungo. That can ungo. Let's just work on the trees that are in the way. Not all the other trees. All the other trees can probably stay. We'll deal with them later. Uh, okay. You there. You. Whoops. There. Remove that. Remove that. Chop down these trees. We good yet? Yeah, two belts of coal, there we go. Okay, so, uh, we need to get, like I said, I need to get red circuits up and running. Red circuits are one of those things that really push a base. They need, they need a lot of green circuits. They need, really, did I just run out of belt? I just ran out of belt. Uh, need a lot of green circuits. They're going to need a lot of copper. They're going to need a lot of everything. So, they're one of the, the big leap zones out uh, Big leap stones, yeah. Big leaps in base structure. Uh, I can dump coal in one of you guys at least. I'm definitely going to have to work out a way so we can burn off extra uh, wood. We'll just keep dumping boxes of shame everywhere. That can go a thousand gears. Yeah, I didn't really need a thousand gears, but sure. Physical project, I'll jab it. So, in capacitor bonus, just literally ticking off any red and green science that we can. Uh, oh, and military. Yeah, we can start doing military science as well. Might as well unlock the flamethrower. I can't see us having a use for it, but, you know, we're going to unlock it anyway. Uh, Alright, so, like I said, this episode, plastic. Plastic's going to be the first big thing we need to get up and running. And, unfortunately, due to my lack of planning, we're going to be running our coal line through our oil which is probably okay because it's going to keep things nice and compact uh, that goes there that goes there <sighs> okay so petroleum petroleum is going to have a petroleum tank from our petroleum tank we're going to come up at least a section and then I want plastic. Now plastic is <sighs> plastic is there. So plastic is copy paste. Thank you. Uh plastic's one coal in for two plastic out. So it's one of those recipes where <clears throat> nope. Nope nope 
Nope, you go in here instead, actually. Uh, it's one of those recipes where you, you have a lot more output than you have input. So consequently, what I want to make sure we do is I want to make sure I use longhand inserters because they're a little bit slow for the uh, output. I don't know, for the input, and I want to make sure I use fast inserters for the input. So we're going to go with fast inserters out, uh, slightly slower red uh, longhand inserters in, uh, and then at the same time I need to duplicate the whole thing and paste it there. We're going to have that oil pipe come out just a little bit, and... Voila, we've now got oil, uh, petroleum rather, on both sides of the belt. Uh, I'm out of splitters, really. Uh, put a splitter down there, bring that up over the top. And step one plastic. Okay, now plastic again has to come down the bus. We have one, two, three, four lanes already. Uh, that's unfortunate because those gears are going to get in the way. We're going to have to go around the gears. We're going to have to go two belts here. Yes, I want two belts of plastic. Um, you might say that's a little bit much, JD, but eventually we're going to want low density structures and other things which are also very expensive on the plastic front. Uh... There we go. Okay, so that's where we're going to bring in our belts, which needs to have that belt there, that belt there, and copy one. Oh, there's coal down there as well. Okay, so we're going to run that belt or those belts to here somewhere. Uh, I think the easiest way is if we're just going to go straight through oil. Uh, where's a radar? And that's another oil patch I missed. Okay, uh, bring the plastic belt down. Power, power, power. Uh, where'd I have run that belt? I ran the belt there. Okay, so we're gonna bring that. Uh, sure. And we're going to run out of belts at some stage. But till then, I'm going to keep building. And even when we do run out, I'll just keep ghosting. Okay, so underground, you out of my way. You out of my way. Uh, run that down there. The left-hand belt is the only belt we care about. The other one, it's just ghosting in place. It's for a future plastic build. Uh, one that we haven't built and... Probably could, but we're not going to build just yet. We'll leave that for a later JD problem after we get chemical science up and running. That's the other thing I'd really like to get done. Oh, crap. Uh, cut. That needs to be moved up to there. Because there is always a chance I'm going to extend these, this gear build out. Nope, we're out of belts. Okay, whilst we're passing through here, let's upgrade all of you guys, all of you guys, all of you guys, and all of you guys. Because uh, we're going to need a lot more green circuits. We want all the belt you can give me, plus we're going to dump those into that machine. Um, hang on, let's go visit a dump box whilst we're here. Dump box! Have more wood. And you can have some coal. Uh, right. Plastic. I don't see the plastic. Where is it? Uh, nope, it's getting here slowly. Uh, all that's built down along. And we're going to come through here. I should have grabbed red underground whilst I was there.
Thank you. You have one tile too short. They just reach. Okay. Belts, lots of belts. Uh, we're definitely at the point where we should be undergrounding you guys. So I can run those belts straight through. Power pole. Backtrack for just a second and grab more red undergrounds. Well, it's 200 in the box now. Uh, yep, that definitely fixed our shortfall problem. Okay, so we've got plastic along to here. It still has a little bit of distance to go. Upgrade that. Upgrade uh, that. Which means that can be a straight belt. Keep running that through there. Did I fill my inventory? Uh, another box of shame. Uh, coal, stone, trees, sulfur, plastic. Uh, everything else we'll find a use for eventually. Okay. Which brings us to our next big blueprint. It's going to be a red circuit build. Now, my red circuit build is a little bit different to probably every other thing you've ever seen on the internet. Uh, it's customized is probably the best way of putting it. Um, it's really designed... F it's designed to be very, very large. I think that's probably the first thing I should say. It's designed to really be expandable because red circuits take a long time to craft and you need a lot of them. Uh, nope, cancel that. Uh, oh, they've also got large uh, medium power poles. At least we have those researched now. Uh, I think... Actually, okay, first things first. Map view. There, warehouse. Rotate uh, that way and paste that down. Hopefully that set a few more recipes for us. I should be able to downgrade from a normal power pole to a small power pole and it should be okay. I hope. Uh, we'll find out if everything powers up or not. Uh, looking good so far. Okay, what are we missing? Uh, nothing. Uh, we're missing green circuits. That's what we're missing. All right, where's my green circuits? All the way back there. All right, so we need to go pick up green circuits. Uh, same time, I need to get rid of those. Put in blue assemblers. Dump my level one assemblers in that machine. Pick up level twos. Pick up a stack of fast inserters. Uh, pick up a heap of belt uh, armor if I nope so that's a five light armor one tiny armor uh, and then you have five heavy armor that's three copper I think we can find some random bits of copper around the map four five all right so before I forget because we're standing here, green circuits is going to need a little bit more infinite step. So we're going to upgrade it. Uh, come on, robots. You guys are so lazy. Uh, and I can build over the ore without a problem because the little mining dudes, well, they'll just mine underneath the buildings. They don't care. Uh, uh, I'm out of splitters. Out of splitters. Out of splitters. Uh, will I have all 60 of them, please? Turns out I won't. Okay. Uh, box of shame. I want to just dump stuff for half a second. Strip all this off. 
Only 15. Oh. I thought it was just 5. Not 15. Uh, I just dump gears in things that like eating gears, please. Oh, wow, we're making speed modules. Uh, who else likes gears? You like gears. Uh, I need more iron. 10, 11, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100, 101, 102, 103, 104, 105, 106, 107, 108, 109, 110, 111, 112, 113, 114, 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120, 121, 122, 123, 124, 125, 126, 127, 128, 129, 130, 131, 132, 133, 134, 135, 136, 137, 138, 139, 140, 141, 142, 143, 144, 145, 146, 147, 148, 149, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, 150, uh, that belt, that belt, uh, that's going to be awkward, uh, no, if I extend that to there, oops, and that to there, we should be good. What are you, your gears? You can go there. Uh, gears again. Uh, just needs to be upgraded. More green circuits. Uh, same story, we're gonna put that there. Output priority left. All four belts this time, drag them along, put that there with a underground going that way, drag that right over the top, uh, gears again, uh, getting close, okay, and output probably left. Done. Okay, so I need this belt to be complete. And I need to actually see green circuits on the belt. At the same time, I need to make sure the belt stays full by putting one of these guys there. So, first one's going to pull off whatever green circuits we need, and then the second one's going to make sure the belt the belt now stays full um, from the second belt. So that goes to there, that goes to there. On top of that, we're going to need copper. Uh, I have two copper belts that go into this build. There's a forest in the way. Uh, and as for copper, actually, uh, left, copy, paste. As for copper, we have a second copper smelter that I've never actually put to any use. It's It's been sitting there doing nothing the whole time. So we need to get it up and running and probably start putting down a third and a fourth copper smelter. Uh, we're going to run your belt up to there. We're going to put in a, another belt and another belt because we're about to set them up. We want this copper smelter in its entirety. Thank you. Uh, paste that there and paste that there. So you go there, you go there to there those two belts go back you go whoops I hate it when belts move me and 
stay to there. I just ran out of belt again. <sighs> Doesn't matter how much belt you have, it's never going to be enough. Alright, smelters! Cool, smelters are done. Uh, inserters we're going to run out of. I've got the armor back on. I can put all that back in there. Not that it really does much, but, you know, it's better than it being in my inventory. Uh, belt. Like, all the belt, actually. And copy that. Four belts wide. And just start running belt. Bots, please don't run off and do whatever it is that you're planning on doing over there. It's not appreciated. So as you can see already, one belt of copper is not enough. It's it's not really making it past, you know, green circuits. Uh, we're going to bring that down and plug it in there. And then we're going to bring this lane down and plug it in there. I need two loaders. I need one, two, three, four, five five of them. I need one platform. I need all these belts hooked up. Uh, I need that. Same copper batch? Sure, same copper batch. That duplicated. Uh, throw all 100, 108? Sure, 108 it is. Uh, throw all 100 dudes in there. I'm going to run that up into there. And that one straight into there. Okay, same story. Complete all the belts, please. And inserters and smelters and all the things. Uh, belt. Uh, all right, we're out of inserters. Before you not run, because you picked up coal when you should have picked up copper ore. Because you're stupid. Uh, why bots not put down this stuff and I have to do it? That's a better question. Uh, you haven't even put down power poles. And of course, as soon as I go to put it down, you guys beat me to it. All right, come on, handcrafter. Handcrafting like a pleb. Uh, coal. How's coal doing? Coal has plenty in reserve. We're just using a grain portion of it. Uh, that's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. That's done. Okay. It looks like everything there is done. We're now going to run belt up the main line. And same as I've done before. Make sure I'm constantly filling up. Copy, paste. Thank you. Make sure I'm constantly pushing everything back into the top line. Probably by now we're due to do another one like that. Uh, okay, and uh, nope, we haven't even got as far as red circuits yet. <sighs> okay, copy that, run that in a straight. 
I keep wanting to do a straight line. I keep really failing at it. All right, we're going to do paste straight into there, which is then going to give me one of them. I can copy and paste in... Uh, go away. There. So, that's... Uh, copper line one, copper line two, basically looks, hang on, let's do this belt down, then we'll take that pasted image and slide it along to where it belongs, which is there, that should give me an outline for where everything goes, that's got to go, that's got to go so I can actually see what I'm doing. There-ish. Come on, I need the copper running. Alright, copper, 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 more copper. Into our red circuit build. Now, red circuit build is very, very different. We actually pull in the copper here. We then convert the copper into... Uh cable put it out on the belt and run it down the front of the belt now when it gets down the bottom we're just going to filter out the red circuits i'm going to leave the copper the copper coils on the belts uh actually we'll have you go that way and then that way that way and then filter you down you become red circuits which normally would share a belt with green circuits, but it turns out I used that space with, for something else. So, one build. Two build. Three build. Four build. Five build. This is going to be the longest thing you're going to make in your factory. Um... How far am I at now? No, nope, I can definitely go one more build at least. So, like I said, this thing is massive. It's due partially to how slow uh, red circuits are to make. Um, they take six seconds each, and like I said, you need a lot of them. Whereas green circuits take half a second. Uh, and you need a lot more of those, but they take half a second, which makes a massive difference in the end. Uh, I don't have belt... Can we just trim any trees that are in the build? That'd be awesome. Uh, what else do I have? It looks like I don't have yellow inserters. So belts, yellow inserters. Uh, trees. Okay, belts and yellow inserters. And a whole bunch of wood. A box of shame. And we've got coal again. We keep picking up random amounts of coal from here, there, and everywhere. Uh, that goes there. That goes there. Another box of shame. That goes there. We wanted... What do we want? We wanted yellow inserters. There's 200 there. That's not going to be enough. We wanted yellow belt. All of it. Uh, we'll grab whatever you've made in the meantime. And then we'll go get this built. And then the very next thing we're going to do is blue sides. Because literally... We have all three components now. We have the engines, we have the red circuits. The last thing we needed to add was... Uh, actually, I'm going to leave those belts on there. Uh, red circuits, engines, um, and sulfur. That's the three ingredients for chemical science. So it should be just a matter of dropping down a build and away we go. If I can just get all this stuff done, so I know the build's complete, that way I don't have to worry about it. Crap, that's the wrong direction. You need to go up, not down. Uh, so this brings in copper on the outside. We convert it into copper coils, and Bob's your uncle. We can then use one belt to put the coils on, and the, well. 
put the coils on, take the coils off, and also red. I don't want to do those ones. I'll do these ones, because these at least all face one direction. Uh, yeah, take the coil, take the coils off, put the green, the red circuits on, and we're done. Uh, that all looks to be done. Is everything up here done? It sounds like it. Uh, Research-wise, let's get portable solar panel, capacity bonus, stacking two, iron walls, landmines, refined flammables, combat robots. None of these are actually important or helpful. So yeah, take co copper plate, dump in here, put out copper cable. It flows down one side of the belt. We take in the copper cable and then we output the red circuits. It means the biggest thing I love about this build is I actually have a full belt of green circuits and a full belt of plastic. That makes such a massive difference in the long run when you need to keep making these builds longer and longer and longer to produce more and more red circuits. At the moment, everything looks great because it's backed up, but um, it's not going to remain backed up for long. All right. Chemical science. One, two, three. All right. Chemical science is you, you, you. Actually, I only need a too long build just to the crappy power poles. We want to bring... You need three, two, one. So we're going to put sulfur and engines on the same belt, uh, which is that belt. And we're going to put uh, red circuits on the other belt. We're going to have you output here and you're also going to be going up you're going to be going up as well that's our our build that's eight long that's 16 long i don't know but it could be 24 long all right so what do we say we said engines and sulfur so let's go grab our engines which generally i wouldn't put on the bus but i think i'm going to this time around Produce 1,000 advanced circuits per hour. So that means we have a very, very healthy build. Um, don't forget, a lot of the builds are already turned off because it's already backed up. But yeah, we have an insanely overpowered build for what we need for right now. Uh, okay, I'm not going to put you on the bus, so to speak. I'm just going to have you divert across really quickly to uh or do i want you on the bus where would the next bus line be uh the next bus line would be right here so you know what you can actually come down and go on the bus so to speak uh that goes there Get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of those, get rid of that. Uh, underground there, underground there. Uh, I want to move you down one tile already. Okay, we're going to have red circuits go there and there. And I'm going to put in a splitter now so I don't forget and allocate the lane to something else. Uh, have you go over the top. And where's my sulfur? I left sulfur back here. Uh, same story as everything else. You need to underground get the hell out of my way. Uh, plastic. We're going to put that there. Did I have two lanes of plastic? Yes, I should have done the same there. I should have put a splitter on it. Just so I can visually identify that that's where that went. Alright, so we wanted... We're actually going to put yeah engines on... Sulfur on that side, engines on that side. Uh, go away, trees. No? Okay. Sulfur on that side, engines on that side. Uh, red circuits, party left. Power hook up there. Can I tidy this up a little bit? Okay, we're gonna cut all of that and slide it over a couple of tiles. 
So that gives me room to do bad engines, bad engines. Okay, do that, do that, do that. Because I am going to want engines elsewhere. Sulfur doesn't go anywhere else. It's only going to this one spot. Uh, same with you. We'll jump you over as well. And we'll jump you over. Okay. So, you guys are cranking out slowly after I go pick up more assembly machines. Actually, before we do that, let's drag... Now, with Red Circuits being such a big build, it's a long build, it's something you just have to accept that chances are, something like Science, you might have to run it through the middle of your Red Circuit build. Uh, it just doesn't make any sense to run the belt all the way down the whole bus to then come all the way back up, or run it um, all the way out around the back of Red Circuits to then come back in. But if we get that and that hooked up, oh, that should get us blue circuits running. I just need to go have a chat with the assembly two making machine and grab a few more friends to finish off this build. At the same time, I need to count how big the build is. So you're producing max rate a calculator is doing 90 per minute so that's the number we're looking for that's the number all our sciences have been um even though like red science we're only using 52 we can make 90. you're doing 78. uh if i put a few more assembly machines in how you feeling now feel like you should be doing 90. 90. cool uh now 90 needs how many 90 needs 90 engines per minute. How many engines we're making? We're making 90. Good, beautiful. I love it when maths adds up. What's so slow here? So slow here is that you guys need to be way faster. Yeah. Okay, so I should speed that up. Let's should speed that up. That should give us plenty of blue science. Uh, of course, the way this stands currently is... I actually let's just fix it now. Let's fix it now. If we bring that down, and uh, I don't have any underground, so we'll just tuck it through here. The way this stands now is if and when I want to extend the, the engine build, which I'm going to do probably in the next episode, um, I can't because I've put blue science across the back of it. Now, that does, does give me grounds to move blue science up and around the back. It's something possible I could do. Uh, at the same time, I could just underground, put a couple of undergrounds here, here, and here, and just put the next build right behind it. Um, we do have to get, no, I don't even have to bring iron to it because I can just put more machines at this end, making uh, more uh, pipes. Anyway, that's where we're going to leave this episode. We can now do cancel, cancel, cancel. We can now continue on our tech dreams of advanced processing, lubricant, electric engine, robot, construction robots. That's the tech tree we're running down. That's the next thing we want to get done. So with that, I'm going to say thank you guys so much for watching. Do hope you've enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we're not going to unlock robots, but we're going to try. We are going to try like you would not believe. Um, first thing I'm going to try is I'm going to try doubling up how um, thingamajiggy bobs elapse. Anyway, that's it. I'm out. Thanks for watching. Bye.